son was going through something and um, three officers responded. I, I was asking for help and my son was murdered. Mikkel Quarles says she is still haunted by the night she called Anne Arundel County Police for help with her son who was suffering from a mental health issue. Now, she and her family have filed a federal civil rights lawsuit saying that police used unconstitutional deadly force in Deonta Quarles Jr.'s death. This is a tragic situation. Um, our client reached out for help, and unfortunately, the help that she received was the death of her son. Chicago-based civil rights attorney Gregory Coolis, who specializes in police misconduct cases, is representing the Quarles family. Their lawsuit claims that back in January, police were called to the home two times for a well-being check on Quarles Jr. The first time, the family claims, police said that there was nothing that they could do. The second time, the family claims three officers arrived with guns drawn, pointing their guns at DJ. They attempted to arrest him, and he was ultimately shot by Officer Jay Reesey. And unfortunately, it appears that these officers were not properly trained and reacted in a manner which was unconstitutional, unreasonable, and excessive. Police claim that when officers tried to arrest Quarles Jr., he bit one of them, which can be seen on the body camera video. Officer Reesey also suffered a traumatic brain injury during the arrest. In the meantime, attorneys are trying to get more information from the attorney general's office to see what exactly happened, but say they are not having much luck. Despite numerous phone calls and emails to the AG's office, we have yet to receive any information about the investigation or its status. Now, I spoke with the representatives from the Maryland AG's office, and they tell me simply no information can be released at this point because the case remains under investigation. And they also pointed out that someone has been assigned a liaison, if you will, to communicate with the family. Anne Arundel County Police have also declined comment on this case, saying that it is a civil matter, but did tell us that Officer Reese is still recovering from his injuries suffered in this incident. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV Love and News.